This time I'm going to show you how to do the timber planks for the top of the metal bench. Um, you can see in my metal bench uh, project, I've got two files. Ignore this one, this is just a bit of a practice that I did. Um, this is the um, project that I've got open up here, and you can see that I've got all my components here. I've already modelled this, so I'm going to show you how the, I went about doing that. Firstly, you need to go create a new component. So when you click that, um, it will give you a dial-up box here. Um, I called mine Timber Seat here. Um, so I'll put my test just so we can see how I did it. Um, it's already activated that dot there, so um, we're ready to model. So we go uh, New Sketch, and I click the plane that is kind of most logical it doesn't really matter um, which one you do though from that point um, i'm just going to hide my last one so uh, it doesn't confuse you, you guys um, so uh, 87 is the size we want it and i'm going to press tab and do 30 high so that's the first part of the project we're going to go finish sketch and extrude and we're going to extrude this one 400 long we're going to put some um, fillets around the outside. We're going to have a router cut to do that. Maybe three millimeters. You could put a larger router cutter on if, if you would like it to look different. The next step is we're going to do the holes for the screws so it doesn't split the timber. I'm going to click the um, top surface and go create sketch. I'm going to use the line, but I'm going to change the line type. In the sketch palette to construction and I'm going to put a line across like that turn the construction button off and we're going to go to a circle circle is going to be 4.5 and we're going to put two in there just along the line anywhere just avoid the center or the ends now using D for dimension or you can come in here and choose dimension manually I'm going to go from the center of the circle to the edge of the material and make it 15 on both sides. Last thing for this timber plank, we're going to finish the sketch and extrude both of those circles downwards. So you can change this to three all. Oh, oops, sorry, all. Oh. <laughs> try that again. Just misclick that one. All right, so that's my timber plank. So um, it's just randomly down here at the moment. I can move it around. Um, I've deleted my test one that I just showed you and back to the exact same part. Um, I want to um, constrain this up in here. So. I want to put that in position, so use the join feature. Um, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go to the edge of the material here. Just thinking how we can do this. Yeah, that one's probably the best, so it's kind of flat and pointing upwards. I'll zoom in so you can see it a bit better. And I'm going to do the center point here, like that. And it's flipped it over, so I'm going to make sure I click flip. And we're going to have to adjust the size of this. So we've got a three mil here, three and then um, 10, so seven mil. Um, it's a seven mil gap. If that didn't make sense, I'll explain myself in a second. Once you click OK, it kind of it'll snap into position. Um, you could have done the, the join here or even here um, to position, um, but you need to get the, that first one in. Um, I can look at look at it from the side, and I should be able to measure from there to there. It should be ten. Oh, sorry, that's seven. Um, so we've got three here. Ah, uh, it's because it we measured from the the inside of this radius here. So I'm going to close that and go measure from here to here. So a bit of problem solving along the way. We've got a five mil gap size on that, so we might may need to come in and adjust that a little bit later. So I had to do a quick pause there um, because it looked really short here. Um, I've kind of placed and, and got this up here, but 
Um, we had to fit nine planks in here, so um, we are going to extend the length of the connector pieces. So you might have um, the activation dot up at the metal bench, hopefully. I'm going to come down to the connector, connector one. Doesn't really matter which one you do it to. I'm going to click on the extrusion. I told you to make this 540, but we're actually going to make it um, 8, 840. And that's going to make the project look a little bit closer to what we are going to construct in metalwork. Um, you might decide to make yours shorter, but this is the maximum length. Now I'm going to pattern the component <clears throat> across this piece. So um, to do that, we're going to go to create and there should be a pattern and then rectangular pattern. In, we'll go capture position. Um, we can pattern the component. So expand the, uh, the palette here and we'll select the component. The direction is going to be any of the long directions here. It doesn't matter as long as you click a line in that direction. And we're going to click 9. And this is the tricky bit I haven't actually worked out yet, but if we pull this along, um, we want a 5mm gap at the end here, and we want all the gaps in between to be consistent. So um, let's do some maths here. Where does that line start from? The line starts from the center of that one. Um, and it goes to the center of this one. So, so if we take like half of this one and half of this one, it's the full width of that, which was 87. And then we take the five from here and the five from here. So we're at 97. Um, so this, this here has to be the full length of the bar, which was um, 840, 840 take 97 and I've definitely got that wrong I'm not actually sure where that extent comes from so um, I have changed it to minus 745 yours might be in positive so 745 And then I've looked at this side and zoomed right in and inspected the measurement between that point and that point, and it's five millimeters. So I'm going to be happy with that at this stage. The gap size between these ones is six mil. So um, obviously, I just measured the project that was down there, but you know, um, we can re recalculate our gap size and machine the boards to suit. So we do get a five mil gap in between each one. Um, so that's the complete project modelled. Um, there are definitely adjustments that we could make to change the size of it though.